Hello everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It's Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, and we can start rather inauspiciously. The top three rows have one each of 1, 2, 9, 6, 4, 8, 3. I can't do anything. If I look at the middle three rows, 3, 9, 1, 7, 5, 2. So all I'm going to get out of that is a 9 in row 6. The bottom rows, I think, are going to help me a little bit. 4, 5, 7, at least. Are all repeats. 5 there, I'm going to put a 5 in those two. 7 there, puts a 7 in these two. Okay, switching to vertical scanning. 4, 7, okay. I got a 4 there. Without the 4, I have 5, 7, 1, 8, 6, 3, 9. I am done in the left three columns. The middle three columns, 8, 3, 9, 2, 7, 1, 5. I'm done. The right columns, 2, 3, 7, 4, 9, 6, 5. Okay, I'm, that's it. Well, let's see. Seven there, seven there. Leaves me with three spots for a seven in box five. That's not helpful. One of those is a three. Let's see. One, two, nine. Out. And this gets rid of 3 and 8, along with 7. These both get rid of 3 and 8 by row. That's 5 by column. That's 5 by row. Okay, that's not 7. Those aren't 5. I get nothing useful. Okay, 9 and 2 both can't be in those two, so 9 and 2 are in two of those three cells there in box 2. Either can be 8, though, so 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6. Oh, I think there is, no, there is a crossing on threes in box seven. Look, three, the three can't be in column three and it can't be in row seven. So those are a three. That virtual, because these can't be three by row. These can't be three by column three. Three's forcing that too. That's a virtual three in row eight. Three in row seven forces a three there in row nine. So that's a three. That places the three in box nine, it's forced. In turn, that places the three in box six. If I can switch the right mode. So those two are not three. Oh, that forces that one to be a three. Oh, I'm getting a lot of useful help on threes here. Threes and that. One of those two, and that's as far as that's going to go, I think. Five is down to two places in row four. I can't do anything with it, though. Let's see, uh, four can't go here or here. Four's down to one of three places in box three. Neither can be two, three, nine, so one. One, 
one, four, five, six, seven, eight to start. Either of those are five or six. That's not six, and that's not one. Okay, these aren't two, three, nine. Four, six, seven. That. Okay, both of these see four and eight in the row, and that one sees five and six. Five and six in the column. Okay, that one's down to one or seven. Explicitly interesting. Okay, those are not two, three, four, seven. Five and the six. Six is fine. The five isn't. Well, wait a minute. That can't be six by given. Those can't be six by given in the box. Six must be one of these two in column seven. Combined with that six forces one of those two to be a six. That's a six. It's hidden. Six goes up there. Let's see, one, three, seven, nine. So two, four, six, eight, five. Not six, not five, not six. Wow, there's one, two, three, four hidden digits, and I didn't find anything placed by normal scanning. But neither of these can be seven, eight by box seven. So seven, eight must be the only other two cells there. That's a seven, eight pair. So three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are one, two, five, and that's the only place for a five. And this is a one, two pair. So one, two, four, five, seven, eight. These are three, six, nine. This can't be three or six. It must be nine. Those two are a three, six pair in the row. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So these are one, two, eight in row seven. There's something I can mark. Three, four, five, six. I need one, two, seven, eight, nine for row eight. It goes there. Oh, that could still be two, erg. Three, five, seven, eight in row nine. One, two, four, six. I have that configuration, which tells me nothing useful. Okay, these are not three, four, six, eight. In row three. One eight nine. There are five. 
or three by box. That can't be two by row. Oh, that's interesting. I thought I had something in box four. I don't. Let's see. These are only not three seven. do now. I'm running out of digits fast. Okay, those aren't eight. It's the only thing in the box. Now these can't be two, seven, nine. That's not six. I of those are one. That's not two or nine rope by row, three by column, that's not two or nine by row, and three by column, and five by column. Let's see, those digits are not four, five, seven. One, two, six, nine. One and six, three and nine, okay, I put five in there, entirely by accident, oh, <laughs> okay. So this is a one, and that's not one because it's a one-two pair. So one's forced to one of those two. That can't be one. That's a hidden one right there. So one has been placed in box four. These are not one. One of these is one. To look for hidden digits in boxes. Yeah, you know, like five can't be here, so five goes there in row two, and that means those aren't five. Most importantly, that one isn't five, and that place is five in box one, which places one, eight, I gotta do a lot of work, but it's something. Okay, eight places two. That's not two. So we now have a one eight pair in box nine. That places the nine. Okay, these are going to end up as 2-7, I believe. That's going to come over here and sort out the 1-2 in column 3, which sorts out the 9 in column 4. See, that's left as a triple. 1-4-6 in row 9. Apparently that's not 9, so we just place 9 in column 9, along with 7, 2, not 2, and these aren't 7, so 
one four eight left as a triple when column nine is done, but the two places the seven. That couldn't have been seven anyway. This now sees two and seven, so that's a nine. This places two in row three. Places nine in column one because of a three six eight hidden triple that's left. Uh, whoops! I accidentally hit some other mode. I don't know what I was doing. That's not one or nine. That's not two or nine. Uh, that might be a three four seven hidden triple. I think it is because two. These three digits. Or hidden three four seven triple. What that means is two is placed. In box two. Oh. Four six places the one. In column four. Let's see, eight is now placed in column six. Okay, what's left? All kinds of triples, I think. Has to be something else I'm missing. I fill out enough of the grid. I should be able to see something by now. Come on, Colin, think. Six could be there, which is annoying. Three's there, but that doesn't help me any. Okay, two's here, but we knew that. Oh, duh. Four, eight, hidden pair in column nine. Come on, column, think. Wouldn't help me with literally anything else. Well, that's a three four seven triple, and this is five eight. Those are the only two digits for five eight, which places the four. I saw this three four seven hidden triple, but for the longest time I couldn't see the four eight hidden pair. My brain thinks very strangely sometimes. Not eight, but six is good. Two, four, seven, so that places three and six. Column two, that's what I needed to see because three is now placed. Two, four, seven places eight, which places seven, which places eight. Column three, box one is done. Three places four, seven, six, five, three, four, six, seven places that as a five, six, four, six, one. Four, 
two, five, eight, five, eight, one, and seven, six, seven, two, four. There we go. 20 minutes. Well, with nothing from the initial scanning, but it took a lot of hidden triples. I don't think I found any hidden quads for this. But how many hidden digits did I find? One, two, three, four, five. And I identified, I think, three or four triples. So I'm getting the hang of it. If I can scan the board better, I'll be doing these relatively fast in no time. 